Hey guys, so, um, what's going on? Oh, nothing much. Just discussing, you know, how we're gonna gather up food. I mean, we haven't eaten all morning. Yeah, and we're working on assigning jobs to people. Like, I'm the patrolman, and other people will be in charge of gathering food, other people will be in charge of setting fires, and etc. Yeah, have you seen Wally, by the way? We think that he's gonna be a gatherer, so we need to get him back as soon as possible. Um, uh, Wally? Nope, uh, haven't seen him. I uh, haven't seen him for a while, actually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, I I'll just start gathering nuts and berries and stuff. Do you need to talk about anything, Jeff? You're acting kind of strange. Yeah, Jeff. What's bothering you? We can all talk about it. We're all bros. Um, nothing you guys will understand. Something's up with Jeff, and I can't really lay my finger on it. What if it has to do with Wally? why he's not here. I don't know, but something fishy's going on. Now you're sure? Jeff was there, and you think that Jeff did something to Wally? Yeah, and I'm scared sick. What if Jeff comes after me because I know what he did? It's okay. Just stick around me, okay? Oh, well, we'll get the chance to talk to Jeff later, okay? Well, alright. So, um, what do you want to do now? Um, have you guys seen my mom? I think that she wandered off looking for her bag, but she hasn't come back yet. Um, no, I haven't seen her. Do you want to stay near us, though? I mean, you can stay with us until she comes back. What are you thinking? She's just a kid. She can't hang out with us. Hush, I have experience. I have a daughter at home. So you're sure I wouldn't be any trouble? Positive. You can hang out with us. Yeah, absolutely positive. Hey, wait up. I'm sorry, she's just in a bad mood. She's having some boy troubles right now. Oh, it's okay. My mom was having boy troubles before we left home, too. <laughs> Boys can be pretty bad sometimes, can't they? Yeah, they can. Well, let's go. So then, me and Wally would be the gatherers. Roscoe, you would be the lookout. And, well, that means you, Matt, will have to be the hunter. Hey, has your sister ever had a boyfriend before? Matt, you're off topic. Come on, we have to discuss this. If we have to learn to survive here, then we have to know what our roles are. Fine, chill, dude. Hey, Matt, um, I can help you hunt if you want, and then you don't have to go alone. Um, yeah, sure, Gracie, that's fine. Um, way to split whatever you have up, but no, Gracie is not gonna go with you, Matt. Come on, man. I mean, we're not gonna do anything bad, I promise. I just need someone to go with. You know, just in case a bear comes along or something. Bears? <laughs> I'm just joking with you, Grace. But seriously, dude, we'll be okay. No, Gracie's my little sister, and our, since our parents are away, I'm technically her guardian. And I say no, you cannot hang out with her anymore. Fine, I'll go by myself. You're so unfair! I'm only trying to protect her. Do you get that, Roscoe? Yeah, bro. I totally feel you there. I mean, you don't want them two hanging together too long. You never know what's gonna happen. Hey, are you sure this is okay? Yes, relax. He said that it was fine. I mean, he doesn't want to keep us apart. Yeah, I guess so. So, the pond's over there, and then we can go hunting for fish for tonight for dinner. All right by me. I'm not much of a fish person, but it'll have to do. All right, so let me teach you how to hunt. So basically what you're gonna do is just dip your head in the water, wait till you feel something wriggling around, then chomp down as hard as you can. We're not gonna use fishing poles? Of course not. This is the wild after all. We have to learn to survive without little fishing poles or anything. Here, don't be scared. I'll show you. This little fellow's gonna make a nice fine meal. Yeah, for one person. We have to catch more than that. Fine, how about you give it a try? Well, okay. Whoa, it's a big one. Help! Ah, uh, come on, you got it. No, really, help! One, two, three. 
<laughs> Darn, look at that beauty. <laughs> we'll eat for days. Want to try some more? I think I want to try something else first. Gracie Faith Nelson, what do you think that you're doing? What? Mm-hmm. So, what do you think that you're doing out here in the middle of the wilderness with some boy? Um, we were just hunting, I promise. Uh-huh, hunting for each other's lips. Look, I wasn't doing anything with your sister, I promise. We were just hanging out and getting to know each other. Getting to know each other a little bit too well for my liking, thank you very much. Honestly, does it even matter? We're out in the middle of nowhere. What do we have to do? Gracie, come on, we're leaving. Stop it! You're not dad! You can't rule me around like that! <laughs> yes, I can. I'm technically your guardian, so let's go. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> what did I do? Wait a second. Is that Jeff? <gasps> I'm just so mad right now! that my own sister would just go off like that. I mean, seriously, Grace, I was worried sick out of my mind where you went. I didn't know if a bear had gotten you, did anything had happened to you. I was worried out of my mind. No, and I was safe. I had Matt with me, and he was the best person ever. Oh, you're just a kid, you don't understand. Just a kid? Well, this kid happens to be 16 years old, Nick. I'm practically an adult in two years. You can't just act like you own me all the time. Oh yeah? Well, I'm glad I don't own you because you're a selfish brat, Gracie. After everything I do to try to protect you, keep you safe, you just run off and do whatever you want? A selfish brat? Well, you're a control freak who thinks that you can do whatever you want. Guys! Guys, guys, I, I saw Jeff, and he, he was pushing Wally, and Wally was dead, I think, and I, I, uh, Nick, are you okay? You, you're the cause of all of this. If you wouldn't have come here, we would have been perfectly normal. Nick, Nick, be careful. No, no more Mr. Nice Guy. You're a creep, Matt. You are a selfish creep who thinks that you can just prowl on my little sister. Nick, you're just being a little bit overprotective. It's okay. You know that one day I was gonna have a boyfriend and then maybe we'd get married. Yes, but not at 16. Dude, it's okay. You don't have to freak out. I'm 18. I'm... I'll take good care of her. I won't do anything unless she wants me to do it. I'll be okay. No. I'm tired of being walked over and just pushed aside. You are not dating my little girl, no matter what you say. Nick, you aren't dad. You don't control me. Nick! <gasps> Why do you think you can draw me, man? Uh... Look, dude, I don't want to get into a fight. Please, just stop. I won't date her, I promise. Just, please, just calm down. Oh no, you've pushed my last buttons, Matt. Don't get me angry. Nick, you should listen to him. Just back down. Tell me why I shouldn't even kill my own sister after what she's done to me. Kill her? That's your own sister, man. That's not cool. You wouldn't do that, would you? Nick, you're my own brother. Well, not anymore. And you know what? I can do whatever I want. So you better watch out, Gracie. Because nobody can control me. And nobody can hold me. Ugh. Matt! Ugh. Back down. Oh, you think some person telling me to back down is enough to kill you? Stop it! Just, just stop it! Ugh. What have you done? Nick! 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 Are, are you okay? Nick! Nick! Can you hear me? Nick! You monster! You killed my brother! 
He was going to kill you if I didn't. Gracie, I'm sorry. Sorry. Can't replace a life, Matt. <laughs> well, fine. Doing nice stuff for you isn't worth it anyway.